Hello everyone, welcome back to Jinda DIY. And today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a gingham or a checker bucket hat. It is a really easy pattern and friendly for beginners. So now let's get into the video. In this pattern, you will need milk cotton yarn, size reply, for 3 colors, and it is 50 grams per each color. 3.5mm crochet hook, scissors, dining needle, and stitch marker. Feel free to use any type of yarn and any size of crochet hook. First, we are going to make the top hat. To begin, make a magic circle or magic ring. After you have made a magic circle or magic ring, next for row 1, we are going to make half double crochet into the magic circle. To make half double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the magic circle, yarn over and pull through the loop. So now you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. Keep making half double crochet into this magic circle until you got 9 stitches of half double crochet. After you got 9 stitches of half the bow crochet, then pull the short strand to close the circle. Next, for row 2, we are going to make increase into this first half the bow crochet by make 2 half the bow crochet into the same stitch. So this is count as your first stitch of row 2. Use stitch marker to mark this first half the double crochet. Keep increasing into every stitch until you reach the stitch near stitch marker, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the stitch near stitch marker, you must have 18 stitches in total. Next, for row 3, we are going to make half double crochet into the stitch that we mark. And don't forget to use stitch marker to mark the first stitch of the row. It is easy to know where to start and end the row. 
After you have made a half double crochet, then may increase into the next stitch by make two half double crochet into the same stitch. After you have made increasing stitch, then make a double crochet into the next stitch. Keep repeating this by make one half double crochet and then make increase into the next stitch until you reach the stitch near stitch marker. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, you must have 27 stitches in total. Next, for row 4, we are going to make half double crochet into the next 2 stitches. After you got 2 half double crochet, then make increase. After you have made increase, then keep repeating by made 2 half double crochet and then increase around until you reach the stitch near your stitch marker. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, you must have 36 stitches in total. Next, for row 5, we are going to make half double crochet into the next 3 stitches. So after you got 3 half double crochet, then may increase. After you have made increase, then keep repeating by make 3 half double crochet and then increase until you reach the stitch near stitch marker. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the stitch near stitch marker, you must have 45 stitches in total. Next, for row 6, make half double crochet into the next 4 stitches. After you got 4 half double crochet, then may increase. Keep repeating this by made 4 half double crochet and then may increase into the next stitch. Until you reach the stitch marker, you must have 54 stitches in total. Keep increasing around until you reach row 10, then I will meet you back again. For my top head measurement, it is equal 6.3 inches length. Then 
Next, we are going to make the side of the bucket head. For the side of the bucket head, I'm using lemon peel stitch to make the gingham pattern or the checker pattern. After you reach the stitch near stitch marker, then we are going to make slip stitch into the stitch that we mark. Remove stitch marker. To make slip stitch, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Next, for row 1, chain 1, and make single crochet into the same stitch with chain 1. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. So now you have 2 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 2 loops. After you have made a single crochet, then make a double crochet into the next stitch. To make double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through the loop. So now you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. And yarn over, pull through 2 loops again. Keep alternating single crochet and double crochet into every stitch until you got 4 stitches. Then we are going to change the color at the 5th stitch. So I'm ending with a single crochet. After you got 2 loops on your hook, then drop the dark pink and bring the medium pink. Yarn over and pull through 2 loops. In total, you must have 5 stitches per square. Don't forget to use stitch marker to mark at the chain 1 stitch. It is where we are going to make slip stitch at the end of the row. Don't forget to carry these two strands of yarn along with the row. After you end with a single crochet, then start with a double crochet. Keep alternating single crochet and double crochet. So I'm end with a double crochet, after you got 2 loops on your hook, then drop the medium pink into the front side of the stitch, and bring the dark pink behind the stitch. Pull these 2 strands of yarn a little bit to give a nice and tight stitch. Yarn over and pull through 2 loops. After you end with a double crochet, then start with a single crochet. Keep alternating single crochet and double crochet into every stitch and always switch the color at the 5th stitch. Repeat this around until you reach the chain 1 stitch, then I will meet you back again. Remember when you end with a single crochet, then drop the yarn behind the stitch and when you end with a double crochet, please drop the yarn in front of the stitch. The purpose of doing this because it helps the yarn not twisting together when you change the color. After you reach the end of the row, you must have 90 stitches in total and it is equal 18 squares. 
For the small loops that we made the slip stitch in previous row, it doesn't count as a stitch, so we are going to skip it. Next, make slip stitch into the chain 1 stitch to connect the row. So this is what the first row looks like. Next, for row 2, chain 1. Turn your work. So when your last row end with a double crochet, your new row must be start with a single crochet. Keep alternating single crochet and double crochet into every stitch until you got 4 stitches and then change the color at the 5th stitch. Keep repeating row 2 until you reach row 4, then I will meet you back again.
After you reach the last stitch of row 4, we are going to switch the color into the medium pink. Then make slip stitch to connect the row. Cut off the dark pink color Next, keep repeating row 2 until you reach row 12 and always alternating the dark color and white color in every 4 rows Then I will meet you back again
So this is what the side of the bucket head looks like after you reach row 12. It is equal 3 squares for the height of the head. For the height of my bucket head, it is equal 6 inches. Next, we are going to make the brim for the bucket head. Follow one, chain one and turn your work. Make half the ball crochet into the next four stitches. After you have made 4 half the ball crochet, then may increase by made 2 half the ball crochet into the same stitch. Keep repeating this into every stitch around until you reach the chain 1 stitch, then we are going to make slip stitch to connect the row. Next, for row 2, chain 1 and make 7 half the ball crochet. After you have made 7 half the ball crochet, then may increase. Keep repeating this around into every stitch until you reach the chain 1 stitch, then make slip stitch. Next, for row 3, chain 1, make 5 half the ball crochet. After you have made 5 half the ball crochet, then make increase. Keep repeating this around into every stitch until you reach the chain 1 stitch, then make slip stitch.
404, chain 1 and make 10 half the ball crochet, then increase, keep repeating this around and then change the color at the last stitch and make slip stitch. 405 and row 6, chain 1 and make half the ball crochet into every stitch, we are not going to increase anymore, and then change the color at the last stitch and make slip stitch. 407, chain 1 and make half the ball crochet into every stitch around, make slip stitch, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. If you guys want your brim longer, please add more rows by make half the ball crochet into every stitch, no increase. Remember for the bottom of the bucket head, which is the last square, please make it a little bit loose and then pull it to make it stretching and more wider than the top head. For the remaining yarn, use the needle door to weave in. And now your king ham or checker bucket head is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.